It's 7.35 in the morning and Larry was cold, so you can see that he lit a fire. It's right there on the table. Time to clean the kitchen. Sometimes on Sunday I just let the dishes go and don't do them until the next morning, so time to get busy. I make Larry homemade biscuits, but my mix is, I've used it all up, so I'm going to have to go to can this morning. And the biscuits are done, and Larry's going to have one. Or two. Or two, with a cup of coffee. Okay, I think I'm going to turn this off and eat, fix mine. Larry's out here cleaning up the yard while I've been doing my chores in the house. I cleaned up the kitchen, did the dishes, just more regular morning chores. So he's going to come help me now. Show how I make my biscuit mix. Got the ingredients all out and measured Good. for my uh, biscuits. There are mom's buttermilk biscuits that she makes, or used to make. And so I use regular white flour, you know. With her with her recipe, I don't want to... Usually I use whole wheat, but for biscuits and her recipe, I use white flour. And once I dump all these together, I put them in this bag right here, and it says, um, Biscuit mix, add two tablespoons melted shortening, a half cup of buttermilk, and bake 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So I just take my little packet, mix it up, and I can have it mixed up by the time the oven's heated. And then when I've got all my packets made, I store them in the Bisquick box, just to uh, think. All right, it's all natural. I mean, there's no preservatives in it. Okay, Larry, take over. This won't be hard. So, got my bag. Open it up. one cup of flour in. I've got one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. And that's all there is to it. Just take the air out of the bag and seal it up. And there it is. One bag made. Now I just put it down on my down on my box and save it. Now I just have to do that about six more times for six more bags and we'll be ready for the next time I want biscuits. The, the, oh, this recipe is cut down to just for Larry and I, so it just makes two big biscuits. So if you need more, you have to double it. But it makes two big ones, all that we want. That's it. Well, Larry's pulling up the leaf lettuce. I come out to get some for lunch, but we decided it's, got too hot. Too, it's gotten too hot and it's got aphids on it, so. He just going to pull it up and get rid of it and have that space for something else. So I guess we'll just put spinach leaves on our BLTs. We've done that before and it's still good. And he, he took down the stovepipe this morning. He's sure it's not going to have any more, any more freezing weather, so he got that out of his way. Has the door opened, let the heat out of here. Yeah, it's been, it's being 95 to 100 in here during the day. And yeah, that's pretty hot. Okay, I'm out in Larry's shed and he's got a project he's working on. He decided he wanted to make a, a bluebird house. They're starting a nest, so he said he wished he'd made some last winter. So I said, well, it's not too late. You can still make them. So we got some plans Trying. off the internet and he found some boards. Uh, there might not be exactly what he needs, but he's just making it. He's got a drill press. Over. Is that a drill press, I think? Mm -hmm. And he's going to cut the hole in the for the bird to go in and out. Just had a call from my sister Betty, and we had a nice visit. Cutting that hole for the bird an inch and a half. The birds, I guess, are very particular.
we've got one or two boxes already and one of them they're starting to nest in. We had a change of drill bit. That other one was sliding, so we're going to try this one. Or Larry's going to try it. Where'd you say you got your salt? The drill? Mm hmm. Yeah, the drill. It's uh, a yard sale on Albany for $12. It works pretty well. The, the chuck kind of slips a little bit. It's not quite the right chuck on there, but it'll get by. Nice hole. That's it. Larry's got his birdhouse built and he's spraying some paint on it. He just used whatever he had in the in the building and he had green so it's going to be a green gr greenhouse. <laughs> That'll protect it from the weather. Looks like you're going to have enough paint to make it all the same color. Project complete. <laughs> this is our original bluebird nest or box for them to nest in. They're not in there yet. And it's just on what used to be our old clothesline pole before we got the new one. And over here, on the cabana is the new one that Larry just built today. So it's up and this is my new window prop that Larry cut for me. We had one in there we were using and somehow it got mixed in with the firewood and I burnt it. So he cut me a new one and works fine. Larry's credit card bill came today so it's time for me to get busy and reconcile all the gas receipts against the bill. Make sure everything's fine. I think it will be. I shouldn't try to do two things at once. Sort out the receipts and cook potatoes. Oh, it's getting going to go again. Oh, saved it. It boiled over on this burner and it boiled over on this burner. And it almost burnt, burnt, boiled over on that one. I don't see it. Oh, I see a little bit of Maybe that'll be good. Hope so. I'm running out of burners. I think it did boil over on that one too, just a little bit. But I'm going to leave it on that one. I like to take it off the burner if it boils over so I can clean it without get take the heat off of it so it'll clean easier. I'm going to show you Larry mowing, but he's too fast for me. I think he was back there in the back mowing and picking up gumballs with the machine.
talk about pine pollen. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. They are front cords. This has got pine pollen everywhere. It's yellow. This is all swept clean. Now look at it. My goodness. I'm done. All purchases accounted for. Just have to write the check. I think you can see this, the little hula girl that Haley got Larry is dancing. The sunshine. I guess it's time to end this video. If you enjoy them, please press or click on the like button and subscribe. Not sure why we want you to subscribe and like, but that's what all the other vlogs I watch say, so there must be a reason for it. I'll find out one of these days. So subscribe and push the like button and leave a comment. Bye. See you tomorrow.